Hi, and welcome back to another Fabric Mate Systems Tips and Techniques video where we teach you how to put fabric on the wall or ceiling. Today's segment, today's topic is going to be about the practice kit, PK1, we call it. The PK1 practice kit is for those people that want to get going with a site fabricated system. They might not be sure or comfortable yet if it's something for them. This little kit here, as you'll see a demonstration going on, will give you the basics. You're going to get a kit that's going to be packed with a template, everything pre-cut, the fabric mounting frame is pre-cut, the backing material is pre-cut, the fabric is pre-cut. So it's a great way to get your uh, hand around, your head around, the uh, and your feet wet, whichever way you want to look at it, with the practice kit. You'll be seeing some other practice kits and some other segments forthcoming. So what you'll be witnessing here is a template that's going to be going on the wall. You can either use a hand stapler of sorts, you can use the hold it stick, glue, whatever you have handy to hold the template on. Maybe a tack even. This template is going to give you the instructions you need to guide you through the steps. And again, just keep in mind this is a practice kit. If you're wanting to get going with either squares, rectangles, uh, somewhere where you don't have intermediate joints, great for the home office, home bedroom, recording studios, restaurants, a wide range of applications. Again, it's for that person that may not quite feel comfortable about putting up the site fabricated system. It's uh, very useful. Uh, this comes with, again, also the uh, little DIY tool. So it, you get a feel for what it's like to tuck the fabric into the fabric mounting frame uh, and have a better understanding and uh, increase your comfort level. So again, you see the template was already stapled up. Now you have the fabric mounting frame following the lines on the template. Again, you'll see a pneumatic stapler being used here. You can use drywall screws. You can use a small hand stapler as well. So you're just going to follow the steps. You've seen the, light, the uh, left piece going on here. Now you're going to see the top piece of fabric mounting frame going up. And he'll just continue on around to the right piece in the bottom. So it's, uh, again, a very quick process. And again, the practice kit that's going to help you to be comfortable with the 7 Series site fabricated system. So he's using the alignment tool. Again, these some of these tools you're going to see are not in the kit, but they're readily available at fabricmate.com in the tools and accessories section. Very handy. There's a DIY version of the 4-in-1 tool here. Very inexpensive. Handy for aligning your corners or stuffing the fabric into the corner. Very handy tool. This is the tool that you will be getting with the kit. This is the DIY rocker tool. Very adequate for this practice kit as well as small panels in your home or office commercial setting. So you will see as he continues on, uh, quick and easy, the fabric mounting frame is now installed. Uh, make sure you wear glasses, some safety glasses would be recommended. Now he's taking the little sanding block. These are uh, available, uh, readily available at your Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, you can use sandpaper, a fingernail file, whatever you may have around. You just want to go ahead and hit the corners, make sure that they're blended in. Uh, the face of the fabric mounting frame is the important part. You don't want to have any unevenness that might show through the fabric. So these practice kits will come with a variation of colors and styles of fabric. Again, they're just for practicing. Uh, feel free if uh, you want to change it. You can go ahead and use your own fabric. You can use something from uh, Joanne's Fabric House if you'd like. A wide range of coverings out there. You may have your own that you're going to get from a local fabric upholstery. So here you see the soft core is in this kit. Uh, there's two versions of these kits. The practice kit PK1. One comes with a soft core, soft touch we call it, for padded the padded look and feel. Or the other one comes with the max tack for tackable. If you're going to be doing a uh, wall protection or tackable application, we want again in the home office, the conference room, anywhere where you want tackability or wall protection. So now you're seeing the backing going in, insulation, core, it's called a number of things out there. Uh, key here is to make sure that you don't have the backing overlapping the frame, meaning you don't want any of the fabric, uh, any of the backing to be possibly in between the mounting frame or the fabric, or you'll see, uh, you will see that uh, irregularity there. So you can, you can see here, you can use a pair of scissors, a razor knife, uh, sometimes on the soft core, you can just go ahead and manipulate it around a little bit uh, to get it back inside. Again, not proud of the mounting frame. And there you have it. The mounting frame is up. The backing is in. Now you'll see the fabric being prepared to be applied onto the fabric mounting frame. 
If you haven't already understood, the fabric mounting frame has a hidden channel in there, and you'll see in a minute, that will receive the fabric and hide it once it's completely tucked in. So again, you want to start in the corners, and this is the same method you would do if you were doing a 4x6, 4x8, 3x7, any kind of a square or rectangle, you're going to start with the corners. Uh, you're going to get it tacked. At this point, what you're doing is tacking it onto the framework. And you're making sure that the weave, you're looking at the face of it, making sure there's no flaws. You're looking at the weave. Again, this is the time when you're doing that entire bedroom wall. You're doing the, the long run down the church wall, restaurant, whatever it may be out there, that you get a chance to make sure that uh, it's at the right orientation before you get it completely rolled in. So again, here what, what's going on is it's tacking it now. So we like to say you go around and you tack it onto your framework, making sure again as you're looking at it that you have everything the way that, uh, that looks right to the eye. So, and once the tacking is done all the way around, um, you, you may notice on this panel as well that there's little creases from the fabric being folded. You'll notice as it gets going, the, uh, those creases should pull out of there. If by chance you have a certain fabric where the creases do not come out, uh, you can use an iron on low, you can use a steamer. Some people have the closed steamers out there. But in most cases, as you can see here, the fabric rolling tool that's being used now or the rocker that you have in the kit we'll go ahead and take these creases right out of the panel there. So um, <clears throat> take your time at this point. You've already taken the uh, effort to put the framework up, to put the backing in. You want to have a nice, clean, finished install. Uh, it's also recommended to, on occasion, just clean your hands. They, gain, uh, they get a lot of regular grease, picking up tools and what have you, or just from sweating. So wipe your hands off with baby wipes or little wipes or something like that to keep your hands clean. So here you're going to see the fabric is being rocked into the channel. And now when you feel you have it completely defined, you know, we recommend never pulling out your scissors until you have the panel completely defined in the framework. Uh, it uh, will eliminate uh, that uh, little oops and that error where you may have cut the corner or cut the fabric short and there's not enough to go in the panel. So make sure it's completely defined in the system where you know that it's seated back in there. And once you've done that, that's when it'll be time to go ahead and break out your scissors. So. Again, this practice kit, the PK-1, is going to be great for that person wanting to do squares and rectangles, no intermediate joints or seams. It's going to come with uh, what you saw out of the box in the beginning, the fabric mounting frame, the template, the backing, and the fabric, and the DIY tool. Uh, you'll need to have a pair of scissors handy uh, or a few of the other tools or purchase them from uh, fabricmate.com on the website. So once you're comfortable with the framework, uh, the panel being on the framework, go ahead and break out the scissors. Uh, keep them sharp, and you'll see that they'll run uh, run down that length of that whole wall. Uh, keep them sharp and uh, very uh, <clears throat> very efficient. Go ahead and cut the corners really, really close. That's key here. You don't want to have too much fabric bulging up in the corner. So cut that fabric real close and trim it off nicely, and you're getting ready to see a finished panel here, and it's as simple as that. Uh, keep in mind the uh, changeability of this. You may have seen it in some other segments. Uh, it's going to be as simple as pulling the fabric off. If it gets soiled, damaged down the road, or you want to change it for uh, some kind of remodel, peel it off, roll a new piece of fabric on, following the same steps that you see here. Okay, so fast and easy way to put fabric on the wall. Fabric Mate Systems is here to teach you that every step of the way. If there's something that you don't see, um, just shoot us, a, shoot us an email or a chat. Uh, you'll see here as we get going, the fabric corners are going to be finished nicely. Again, with the corner finishing tool, um, you will be getting the DIY tool in there, so we want to uh, give you a little bit of sampling of what that is. Again, that's going to be the, uh, the little tool that came out in the early part of the uh, segment here, and it works adequately fine as well for rocking that fabric in. Okay, so now what we're doing here is we're going ahead and rolling it in. So you can see how fast and easy with the roller. So again, you're getting the practice kit that will have the DIY rocker in it. Uh, if you're going to do any extent, we have the DIY roller. This is the pro roller that you're seeing in the video here. So I would go ahead and uh, you know recommend trying the rocker. If it looks satisfactory for the scope of work that you're going to be doing, then go ahead and use that. But if you want to step up or upgrade, then you can get the DIY roller or the uh, pro roller, uh, which is being uh, used in the video here. It's going to make uh, life a lot easier and faster when you're installing it. So there you can go. You can see uh, see the panel here is complete. Framework's on. Just checking to make sure there's no little strings out there. And uh, there you go, folks. Thanks for joining us on this segment. We always appreciate your time. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You know, take a, give a comment down at the bottom and uh, subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.